We've already had a casual glance at the expert mode revealed by clicking the button here. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to look at this mode further so that we can see the extra side chaining options available. As you know, Pro-C detects the audio signal by using its inbuilt sidechain function. You can also set it to external if you prefer for further creativity, similar to what we did with Pro-DS. For this tutorial though, we'll limit our focus to using Pro-C with the internal sidechain active. And what we'll do is we'll use Pro-C in this example to compress this stereo guitar track made up of a couple of guitars panned widely left and right. I'll bypass initially to hear it dry. Here we go. Right, I'll start by setting the compression parameters prior to looking at how the sidechain functions operate within expert mode in relation to the threshold and ratio. I'll quickly set this up. OK, done. So now this is what the guitar sounds like. Here we go. Now this guitar track hasn't been normalised, so I could do with increasing the input a little to drive the internal sidechain detection a little harder. Although you'll see in a moment, there's another way to do this within the expert mode that provides independent input gain or attenuation of each side of a stereo file. Anyway, I've adjusted the input gain up by a couple of dB. Let me just check this signal. OK, better. And now with the expert mode revealed, you'll notice that the two graphical views at the left are combined so that we can still see them. We've just got one on top of the other. Right, let's look at these dials in the expert mode. We have a left and right side chain level dial. And in fact, if you look closely, you'll see each of those left and right dials are comprised of an inner and outer dial. Furthermore, this is extended. The input, output and dry mix dials also double up so that they contain two ring parameter dials as well when in expert mode. Now, if I switch expert off momentarily, you'll notice those three parameters go back to just single dial operation. Now, revealing expert again reintroduces those extra radial parameters. Remember me saying the expert mode sidechain dials here are related to the threshold dial in more than the obvious way? Well, this inner dial, set to 0 dB at the moment, means that we hear compression taking place as detected by the internal sidechain and controlled by the main threshold dial, here set to around minus 20 dB and the compression like this will kick in at that audible point. However, if you want to adjust the balance of what gets compressed in a stereo file by dialing down the inner left side chain level dial, well effectively you are reducing the signal being detected, the result being a lowering in gain reduction on that side, in this case the left. I'll balance it by reducing the right hand side too. Let's have a quick listen. Now you will still hear the pristine uncompressed audio signal, but now with no compression occurring, because we've effectively raised the sidechain input trigger level. Here we go. As you can see, there is no gain reduction indicated. I'll increase the left side now. Notice the left side gain reduction indicated compression on that side, and you saw the right side kick in too when I increased it. I'll adjust the threshold level to make it more obvious and the style and the ratio dials too. OK, so to reiterate, lowering the left or right side chain level means the audio doesn't reach the threshold level as it would if we'd left them at unity, i.e. 0 dB. We'll go the other way now. I'll raise both left and right by 12 decibels. This effectively means we've made the main threshold 12 decibels more sensitive to the audio signal and will therefore compress sooner in terms of signal level reached. Let's listen to the result.
OK, so that's what you can do when you want to compress more of one side of a stereo signal than the other. What we've done, though, is compress the full frequency range of the signal. But there will be times when you want to boost or cut the signal, but at a more specific, narrower frequency range. Well, we can do, and we achieve it by using the high-pass and the low-pass filter sliders, similar to what we saw in the Pro DS tutorials. For example, if I narrow down the sidechain detection frequency response area, I can sonically focus in on frequencies either causing a problem or those I want to make more prominent. Remember that once you've defined a range, you can slide it across the frequency spectrum to hunt around for the area you wish to compress. To assist the search, you can flick the Audition button on, so you hear only what the sidechain is detecting, rather than a blend of the detection with the dry signal. Let's put this in action. Here goes. OK, so as we saw, we can utilise this sidechain audition button to focus on problematic areas to compress. You could take this further than in our example by compressing one side more than the other, and or bringing out detail in other frequencies on one side. Furthermore, we saw how to clean up a muddy mix. Using this method, you could automate this in your door to compress those frequencies that are masked in a mix but then have them automatically returned in more exposed parts of the song. So in our example, whilst the guitar is playing along with all the other instruments, we could clean up or compress that muddy area of those dampened guitar chords, where really it's not all that necessary to hear it. But later, in other parts of the song where the guitar is more exposed, then we could have it automated so that those frequencies aren't attenuated. OK, so that's a run through then, using the sidechain options here within the expert mode of Pro-C.